In this video, we're looking at converting pounds and ounces to kilograms. Oftentimes, infants are weighed in pounds and ounces in our American system. But when we want to give them a medication based on weight, that label is written in kilograms. When we're dealing with pounds and ounces, we have two labels. So there are going to be two steps to the conversion process. Let's take a look at an example. This particular infant weighs six pounds, four ounces at birth. How many kilograms does the infant weigh? I'm going to start my problem working with the four ounces. The conversion that I have memorized is that one pound equals 16 ounces. I'll just work with the four ounces to begin with and I'm going to use the conversion that I memorized to convert the ounces into pounds. So I'm going to set it up with dimensional analysis, although a proportion would also work. Four ounces over one, that's the given information made into a fraction. And then I'll put 16 ounces on the bottom and one pound on the top. And that'll cancel the ounces. I'll go to my calculator. I'll take four divided by 16, and I want to write the whole decimal. I do not want to round it all. I get 0 0.25 with the label of pounds. What this has done is converted the ounces into a decimal of pounds. And for most of us, we're much better working with decimals. Now, I want to go back and work with the pounds as well. So the total weight for this infant is 6 0.25 pounds. I'm going to place that over 1 just to make it into a fraction. So I've taken the 0.25, my first answer, added it to the 6 so that I have the entire weight of the baby all in pounds. Now I have a conversion that there are 2.2 pounds per 1 kilogram. And this one we use most often, so it's one that we have very familiar to us. We put the 2.2 pounds on the bottom. We put the 1 kilogram on the top. And pounds cancels. Now I'm going to go to my calculator, take the 6.25, divide it by 2.2, and I'll write down my entire number here from my calculator. So I get 2.84 zero nine and it continues on my calculator. When we're dealing with a baby that is under 10 kilograms, we round to the thousands place, which is right here. So when I round to the thousands place, this nine will round this up to a one. So I'm going to give my answer as 2.841 and that is kilograms. When we round to the thousands place, what we're truly doing is rounding to the nearest gram. And so we're being much more precise with our measurement, and we were much more precise with our original measurement by measuring it not to the whole pound, but to the nearest ounce.